Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to Bubba's Handmade YouTube channel. Today we are making Ekelixa soap today. We are using two colors, Blue Vibrant from Nature Soap and Green Vibrant from Nature Soap. We are also using essential oil today. Essential oil is Ekelixas from Soap Maker Paradise, one of our local suppliers. We are using as well to help lighten the butter TD Tantium Dioxide. Tantium Dioxide is from Soap Makers Paradise. Remember, guys, the links will be in the description. Alright, so let's start. So we're using two chaps because we're using the two colors as you see, blue and green. And we're using this picture. This picture is gonna be for the white, for the TD, for the tantalum battery. So let's get the lime mixer. It's gonna be two jars because it's a seven and a half pound mold. The mold would be from nature soap. So before we start, let's check the temperature. The lye is 87.4 and the oil is 87.9. Perfect, they're just all by just a few points. Guys, if you're hearing noise in the background, please excuse. It's a windy day, and so it's like that. So I'm using the strainer to strain the lye because this lye was made the day before, and there's some lilins. So just to remove any lilins some on top. So as usual, you know, I'm not gonna use a stick blender. I'm gonna use a spatula. To stir until I get a light trace. Okay, so just gonna change the mug to these two mugs that I end up doing the line instead of the other two measuring mugs, the measuring cups I'm using those today. So I'm adding all the essential oils to the oil because essential oil and speed up usually and so oil works very good so I can add it from the start that's because I know how it will operate next to address the mixing and to get a light trace right, so here I'm gonna separate the butter Majority is gonna be into the white jar, uh, the white measuring cup. So I'm gonna scrape all the butter out from the mug because I'm not gonna be leaving like any in it. All is gonna be going into the measuring cups. So I'm attempting here to open the bag of the blue vibrance. You can see it's very hard. I did not manage to open it due to my glove hands. So I changed it to the blue vibe, the brilliant blue, the brilliant vibrance from Nature Soaps. Oops, 
some stirring just to kind of loosen up the powder and I'm gonna stick blend the colors so that they disperse evenly through the batter Oops, I'm gonna stick blend it blend 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 Then I'm going to add a little TD to the matters to help lighten them up. Even that it's meant I want it to be a nice light shade to represent the, the eucalyptus and minty, the metal colors. So eucalyptus has a nice minty metal smell. It's very, how to put it, it helps clear your nostril it helps give you a relax you know if you have cold or anything like that I recommend to use the eucalyptus soap or eucalyptus to help clear your nostrils so yeah so we're mixing another and then you will see that it gets lighter because of the TD gives it that nice minty sort of a color now I'm adding the rest of the tantalum dioxide to the match make this one a nice white right I see that I don't have enough white so I'm adding the, some more and I'm gonna add the rest here because it's notice it's still not white I think it's from the spatula <laughs> yeah but the thing is that adding too much TD makes you get glistening and everything. this is what happens to me in the end and you're gonna see but it didn't ugly to buy, it made a bar with it. So let's, let's watch and enjoy and you will see the outcome of the bar, of the soup. Here I'm just cleaning. I'm gonna clean as I go to make the area ready for the mold. So yeah, so this is the seven and a half long mold from Nature Soap. Now that the white and now I'm adding the green and then from high up so that it gets straight to the color and now from the bottom right to the top. I'm not gonna clean out the measuring cup, I'm leaving some back in the cup to go on the top. Now I'm gonna add the blue. And from high up the same way. And I'm gonna add the, a stick, get a stick just to help swirl it. And I'm gonna add the white, the last bit of the white. I'm clearing all the white out the bucket. I'm cleaning all. I don't want any more of the white, so I'm cleaning the bucket clean. Get every soap that is left back in there. So I'm adding the rest that looks like from the jars, the green and the blue. At this point, guys, if you look down at the into the mold, you will see that there's some green parts of the, the silicone mold that is showing. This is when I noticed that I had forgot to add one of the oils to the to my measurement. Get to add one of the oils. So here I am texturing it, but I will stop the video after and mix it in and then come back just to show you how the texture. I'm not gonna let you see me do all that, so you're gonna see that the color has changed. Yeah, so I'm just texturing it because I was just trying to, you know, go along with the video. But you will see the difference soon in a little bit. So watch the color has changed and the wool is now full. I've ended up adding a little more TD 
just to have light in the bottle so there's no more really no white in it it's now it's a green and a blue but the color I find the color is nice so excuse the noise in the background if you're hearing it again <laughs> yeah but I think this is really nice too even though I didn't get the white it's uh, not really good so now 24 hours after the cutting of the soap guys don't forget to like share and subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you will be updated whenever I get when I add new videos so yeah look at it it's a nice cut I'm gonna leave the cut bit here at the end then so guys sit back and relax while I speed through the video So here is the cut. If you look close, you will see the glittering with us. But it did enhance the bag fine. I find it makes the bag look even more nicer, guys. I love the way the streaks in between. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.